The most powerful storm on record in the Atlantic tonight is moving closer and closer to the Bahamas. Good evening, everyone. I'm Altafiz Munning. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. Weather tops national news this Wednesday as the deadly Category 5 Irma is cutting through the Leeward Islands tonight and is still tracking to the Bahamas. Well, we start off with Chief Meteorologist Basil Dean, who joins us live in studio with the latest coordinates. Good evening, Basil. Good evening, Alta Wiz. That deadly hurricane has been located at 5 o'clock near 18.8 degrees north, longitude 65.4 west. Irma is now moving toward the west-northwest at around 16 miles by those maximum sustained winds continue to hold at 85 miles, 185 miles by as Irma now takes aim for Puerto Rico and then eventually Hispaniola. And after Hispaniola, it's going to be the southeast Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Now, Basil, I know that there are some alerts the Met Office has issued for the entire country. Explain to us which, which part of the country are experiencing a specific alert and what type of conditions and what time will the Southeast Bahamas be feeling the brunt of Irma? Okay, right now we'll start with the Northwest Bahamas, which is under a hurricane watch, and the central and southeastern parts of the country are now under a hurricane warning, and that means... Uh, Hurricane conditions are expected in the warning area uh, within 36 hours. In the watch area, that is within 48 hours. So all of the Bahamas is under some degree of warning, and that will continue until uh, Irma uh, makes its exit, which will not take place until about Tuesday of next week. 